Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for the Walking Dead universe, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another video after that big moment in the premiere of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. We're going to explain Rick losing his hand in the different Walking Dead versions, be it the comic or the show, and how they compare to each other. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today, this one's going to be doing a review for the Walking Dead universe, and in today's video we're going to be doing a discussion video after the premiere of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. In today's video we're going to be discussing the major scene at the beginning of episode 1, where we get to see a major scene for Rick's character and a major turning of events in The Walking Dead universe, which is that they adapted probably the biggest moment of the comic book series that we have not seen up to this point, and that is the chopping off of Rick's hand. So we're going to go into that a little bit. We're going to discuss a little bit of the origins of where that came from and the idea and the original concept of the Walking Dead uh, comic books because this is something that happened many, many years ago when the Walking Dead comics bo uh, comic books were releasing. And the Walking Dead comic books go back to 2003. So we've had a long time between then and now. In the newest series, The Walking Dead Ones Who Live, we got to see Rick kind of go through with a very difficult decision where he had to chop his hand off in order to get out of confinement, in order to get out of being a prisoner, basically, for the CRM. Now, the CRM has had Rick captured for about five years, roughly, so obviously his, you know, mental state is a little bit more dire. It's a little bit more kind of like, okay, whatever I need to do to escape, I will do it. He's escaped, obviously, three times previous to this, which we also learned in this episode, and this was his fourth attempt to escape. Now, obviously, we get to see him as he's killing these walkers, and we kind of get to see him in a little bit of a, a rough state where he sees the light and he sees an opportunity to break free but he's unfortunately handcuffed to other soldiers on a line so the only way to get free is to cut his own hand off to get free from the cuffs i think the one thing that we all kind of have to acknowledge is that he's lucky that he wasn't handcuffed to both hands you know um uh, but of course he chops off the one hand and of course tries to get away and he burns it in the walker of course to cauterize it and it still doesn't work because he gets, you know, taken back from the CRM and the whole thing was for nothing, which adds to the tragedy of what he did. Now, in the Walking Dead comic book series in volume five, which is called uh, The Best Defense, we get to see very early on in the comic book series a very different version of this adaptation and it's very different it's not anything of what we expect and i remember through many many readers off when they were reading it in the comics uh myself included which is that rick grimes loses his hand in the comics too now fun fact is that in the comic books it's actually his right hand so in the tv show for whatever reason they decided to switch it i assume it's probably because andrew lincoln didn't want to film um because you know he's probably like you know a, a right Righty, right uh you know he's probably not a lefty in the show so he probably decided he was like okay you know what i'll end up doing this because it, it helps me out you know as an actor so i can still use my right hand which is my most use of you know hand and not to mention uh the left hand has kind of been teased and you know i do find that interesting because in the tv show there were many many circumstances where rick's left hand was injured there were many circumstances where his left hand did get hurt so i don't know if they ever planned this from the long run did they ever plan on cutting off Rick's left hand or was that just false you know teasing and they weren't actually going to do it and then Andrew Lincoln decided you know what like let's go ahead and do it which that's also a fun fact for you is that apparently Andrew Lincoln was the one that came up with this idea to begin with to chop his hand off in the first episode so that was actually his pitch and apparently he read the comics during his time off and decided that that was something he wanted to go with and because he was a writer in addition to Denai Guerrero and Scott Gimple for this Ones Who Live series um he decided that it was a good idea to do that first character and to kind of add to how broken he you know truly is and a little bit of uh, knowledge for anybody that doesn't know in the comic book series this actually happens during the governor uh, comic book uh, storyline of the prison where you have uh, Rick's group that goes to Woodbury and they meet the governor for the first time. And much like the TV show, the governor acted kind of nice at first until we found out what he really was. Same thing with the comic books. He ended up snapping and ended up chopping Rick's hand off as one of his other guys held him down and chopped his right hand clean off. So it's pretty intense because obviously this happened many, many years ago in the comic books in, again, Volume 5, which was released like, I mean, like 20 years ago, pretty much. Like uh, maybe not totally 20 years ago, but almost 20 years ago. 
so it's insane that the TV show decided to finally pull the plug and decided to actually do it. And I thought it was done in a very, a very, very good way because in the comic books, he just kind of gets his hand chopped off and that's kind of the end of it. Not to mention it's his right hand. And I do recall uh, Kirkman saying that he does regret doing this in the comic books for whatever reason. I think it's either because he thought that it was too early or it wasn't executed the right way. I'm actually interested in hearing your guys' opinions. Do you guys prefer the comic book version of this event or do you guys prefer the TV version of this event? Now, for me personally, I think they did a better job in the TV show because the TV show kind of expanded on the tragedy of him losing his hand and what it does. Also, they gave him a really cool weapon. In the comic books, he kind of just went around with a stump, you know. Um, in the TV show, they decided to give him a Wolverine knife, you know, hand, a closed fist type of hand to go with his uh, CRM outfit. And it kind of went with a little bit more of a, a cool kind of vibe, a little bit more of a superhero type of vibe for it, which I really enjoy. Um, whereas in the comics, it was kind of more tragic and kind of basic. In the TV show, they kind of decided to make it a little bit more kind of a fun experiment to where Andrew Lincoln can just easily put his hand through and they can film perfectly fine without having to put in CGI. So it is very much a, a brilliant idea when it comes to execution. And again, I like it because it adds to the tragedy of his character and him trying to get away and how dire it was just for him to get recaptured it goes to show you where his headspace is at so i really do enjoy it in the tv show and i do like it in the comics but i do think that the tv show may have actually done it better so let me know in the comment section below what are you guys' opinions on rick grimes losing his hand in the tv series what do you think it does in comparison to the comic book series what version do you prefer and if you didn't know that's how rick loses his uh, hand in the comics now you know so anyway thank you all for watching and if you knew the channel and you enjoyed this video make sure to click to subscribe until you don't miss any of the videos of the walking dead be sure to follow me at Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I will see you guys very soon for more videos of The Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys, and peace out.